Hey, good morning. Good morning, y'all. It's your girl, Sharita, the Behavior and Learning Strategies coming at you from the Morgan Unlimited Growth Institute, where you can find solutions for your child's behavior and learning challenges. What's up, y'all? This is also the place where we moms go hard on our self-care, okay? So today's post is going to be about um, self-care and a self-care journey. Have any of y'all uh, tried fasting before? Okay. <laughs> That's what I want to talk about. Um, because uh, 4th of July, I, um, you know, we cooked out and we barbecued chicken, hot dogs, burgers, macaroni and salad, baked beans, other salad, drinks, you know. And afterwards, like, I had fun. I ate all I want. But afterwards, I was feeling, like, kind of sluggish. And I'm ready for, for the, you know, for that to, you know, detox out of my system. So, um, I was like, I want to fast. Now, I want to tell you all that this is my, not my first time fasting, okay? Um, I have fasted before. Uh, but I did, like, a salad fast for um 18 days straight no 21 days it was a heck of a challenge i could only eat salad i made huge salads um and um i could have uh, tea green tea with no honey and water and i was eating once a day i would sit down and i would just bury my face in this huge salad <laughs> and um drink plenty of water and then drink green tea hello karen good morning good morning honey uh fourth uh, of july i ate so much <laughs> and i'm now um trying to uh eat a little healthier and exercise so i came up with a, a new routine that started yesterday um so yeah so i did that i did a 21 day all salad and green tea and water um fast okay in the past what last summer i think it was or maybe it's the summer before honey i'm getting old <laughs> okay <laughs> good morning karen <laughs> i'm getting old i'm about to be 40 44 this year um no 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 43 43 this year i always forget how old i am um but yeah and at the end it was, I held on, it was, it was tough, uh, especially cooking for the family regularly, okay, but I held on at the end, until the end, and I lost 18 pounds, y'all, 18 pounds in 21 days from eating salads every day, and um, drinking water, and drinking green tea, and no sugar, also included uh, fruit in my salad, so I would chop up apples. I would, my favorite is oranges. I love oranges. Sometimes I throw pineapple in there. You know what I mean? Uh, sometimes I'll just get some corn and throw it in there as well. So I, I love salads and I love adding peppers, different kind of peppers. Uh, in my house, we eat a lot of peppers. Like if I'm making a uh, cooking and I'm, I'm chopping the peppers, my kids come around, they want to eat some. Um, and also um, uh, celery and cucumber whatever like it can't even make it to the salad because they be munching on them so i put that in my salad and also put like some spicy pepper in my salad as well so i really enjoyed my salads and i found myself really not being hungry um looking forward to the salads not being hungry and um and i was good you know i missed the other food especially when i first started but after a while it started being pretty routine okay uh but what I wanted, and also I had some skin issues, like some eczema cleared up. You know, my skin was glowing. I mean, it was good. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm looking for something that I can do on a regular basis. Uh, so I had tried the fasting, um, uh, one day of fasting, and then the next day eating, next day fasting, next day eating. I died. That I, I wasn't successful with that, y'all, <laughs> yet, okay? <laughs> but uh, all right, right after uh, Independence Day, right after, yeah, I did try to go three days. And I did, actually, until 
the night, like 12 o'clock, I ate something because I started feeling really, I started feeling weak. My head was killing me. I felt nauseous, you know, and this didn't happen before. Um, and I was, I was just uh, drinking water and green tea for those days. I didn't do anything else. So I managed to do it. Um, uh, my clothes fit differently. Uh, my jeans, I hadn't worn jeans in a long time. I was just wearing like stretch pants and yoga pants because you know, the jeans, they get all tight around the, you got like that train track across, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you look like you laid down and a train ran across your belly. So that's what I, that's what I had going on all the time. There's always pinches. I'm like, nah, man, I don't want to keep doing that. So I um I stopped I stopped wearing jeans and then um I decided one day uh, all right let me just put these jeans on I'll be uncomfortable for the day and I put those jeans on and honey when I tell you I was amazed I was walking around shimmy and that's how how good it felt to be in jeans and for it not to be uncomfortable and usually if I wear jeans out when I come home I want to take them off no I was wearing those jeans all day to the night and it was great so i'm like man i want to keep doing this you know what i'm saying um let me know if y'all ever had the train track across the belly thing too because <laughs> oh my gosh but also this time last time when i did the fast i was not exercising uh in my past i either be eating good and not exercising or exercising and not eating good okay and definitely not sleeping but I moved a treadmill down into my family room next to where my office is. So, and my yoga mat down here. So pretty routinely, I get up in the morning and I do yoga. And then I get on a treadmill for as long as, you know, time I have. Sometimes it's 10, sometimes it's 15 minutes, sometimes it's 25, sometimes it's 30. If it's not a really busy day. But I was just making a habit to just exercise every day. And overall, like I said, my clothes are fitting differently. My legs are stronger uh, and the fasting did help, but this time around, I wanted to avoid, uh, the fatigue and the, especially the headache. I wanted to avoid that. So I came up with a new routine that I, that I wrote down actually. So let me pull it out and let me know, um, if you guys have fasted, um, from, because I've done seven-day challenges where I didn't eat pasta, rice, you know, um, sugar, you know. I've done challenges like that, and it's and it was really good on me. But like I said, I'm looking for a consistency. Okay. Uh, so, yesterday was Monday. I had, I intended to, but I didn't get to the store. I intended to have a salad, uh, green tea, water, and uh, fruit, and... Um, and also juice. I intended to juice. I never got to the store. So I just had salad. And I ran out of time a little bit. Salad. But for the first time, I had a salad completely from my garden. So I went out in the backyard and I got some kale, some romaine lettuce. Uh, we have the green stalk tower planter my husband got me for Mother's Day that's now started to produce pepper. So I took a green pepper off of there and a hot cherry pepper because I know I love the spice in my salad. And then I, got, I threw some herbs in there too. I had some curly parsley and some lemon thyme out there. Um, and I think that's that's it. I think that's everything that went into the salad. So I, I washed, washed everything, a little water, a little vinegar, um, really good. Well, and then I chopped it up, threw it in the salad, I made a dressing, shook it up in a mason jar. I love olive oil, balsamic uh, vinegar, crushed garlic, a little seasoning, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> a little salt and a little bit of that dash seasoning that without, you know, with no salt, with the herbs, is garlic and herb. I threw that in there, shook it up, poured it on my salad. And that's what I had. I was like, wow, it's way different than from the store. Oh, and we have our first cherry tomatoes. They are orange. We ate them yesterday. So sweet. So good. I threw that in there. It was really good. The girls like love to eat cherry tomatoes right off the vine. So um, 
it was pretty tasty yesterday. I dropped one of my cherry tomatoes. I was mad. <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, let me let me rinse it off real quick. You know, we as kids, it was like the five second rule. <laughs> when, I, when we was little, <laughs> we dropped a potato chip on the ground. We would pick it up, like kiss it up to God, and then eat it. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> That's what we did when we were kids. <laughs> let me know if y'all have done that. <laughs> But I couldn't find a cherry tomato. I was looking for it. I think it rolled under the couch. I looked at the couch. I couldn't find it. I was like, ah, whatever. <laughs> because I had like five in my salad. I gave Maya some. gave Jazzy some. Kev was asleep. Um, I didn't have a cucumber, another cucumber yet. Um, and I have another cucumber plant that's going to start producing. But the, the one that we got a cucumber for uh, um, a little while ago, we put that cucumber in. And it was about, it was about this big and thick. And it was so good. And we, we sliced it. We all was like eating a piece of that one cucumber. That's how good it was. So that's the first time ever that I had a salad completely from my garden. Okay. So that's what we had, what I had yesterday. And I'm not hungry. I feel very good. Um, I had water, I had green tea that I made with apple cider vinegar. I threw some cinnamon sticks in there. I threw some raisins in there because I heard somewhere that raisins are a sweetener. It ain't do nothing. But <laughs> I put it in there. I put it in there too. Okay. Um, and, and mint from the garden. So I threw that in there. Now I'm saying all this. If you don't have a garden, well, two things I want to say. If you have any kind of space where you could get like a tote from somewhere or um, even a cardboard box and like put like a, a plastic bag in it, you know, that's safe for food and poke a hole in the bottom of it, like do that because it's so much better and so much more nutrient dense than anything from the store, okay? Um, uh, the other thing is if you don't have a garden, you don't have anything ready yet. I didn't, last time I did this fast, I was eating salads every day from produce from the store and I did that for 21 days straight lost 18 pounds um and my skin cleared up I had a lot of energy and I was out here feeling like I was all that in a bag of chips okay <laughs> so you don't have to have a garden I'm just letting you know what what I've evolved to okay uh today I'm going to do <clears throat> exercise uh, a light exercise I didn't do anything uh yesterday and I learned, too, if I'm fasting, like tomorrow's going to be a big time fasting day, I'm just going to do water and green tea tomorrow or today, today, Tuesday, um, to not do really heavy exercise because that makes it harder throughout the day. Um, but I'm going to do light yoga and light treadmill and water and green tea today. So Monday was a salad, green tea, water, and fruit. Tuesday, water and green tea. Okay. Tomorrow is what I'm going to juice and have green tea and water. And that's it, no salad. I'm trying to wait until my garden give me some more kale, some more lettuce, because it grows back after a couple of days. They'll go out there and have some sugar snap peas ready too, or new tomatoes that are red, you know what I mean? Um, and ready. Just have tons of tomato plants in the, in, the, in the backyard. So juicing. So for the first time this past for the past two weeks, I've been juicing beets. So good, so good for you. So uh, I'm gonna do that again uh, tomorrow. I mean, Wednesday. I've got my days all over the place, y'all. Wednesday, and and what I'm gonna be ju juicing is the cucumber that I have in the house already. Ginger has to be in all my. Has to, it's so good. It's such good uh, anti-inflammatory. I had joint issues really bad and I started um, uh, juicing uh, and really smoothies and picking up the juices I wasn't really making it myself but I'm, I'm, I'm changing into that um, but always adding ginger ginger in my tea ginger in my juice ginger in my smoothies and then in the tea added some turmeric powder as well sometimes I buy juice with turmeric uh, in it um, from, from the juicer, not from the, like a bottle juice. Right. Um, so that has helped tremendously. I have to have my ginger. So it's going to be beets. It's going to be cucumbers, gingers, ginger, red cabbage, 
I juiced that for the first time a couple of days ago. And pineapple. Uh, I'm going to get a whole pineapple, slice it, and throw it in there. When I tell y'all how good beet juice is for the heart, for the skin, for the immune system. Hey, Hannah. Good morning. For the immune system, for the, for the eyes, for the hair. I used to wear glasses. Um, I stopped wearing glasses years ago. I decided to improve my vision on my own uh, because I felt like I couldn't see without my glasses. <laughs> okay, And I was like, no, man, I need to be able to see. Like, I couldn't, like, I'm looking at the calendar right there. I couldn't even read that without my glass, putting my glasses on. So I felt like my eyes would be independent on the glasses and they didn't work without the glasses. So hard headed me, y'all know how I do. I decided what do I need to put in my diet so that my vision improves. And I haven't worn glasses in years. Okay. But beets, very good for the eyes, very good for the immune system. Um, and then red cabbage, like it's amazing. Next time I do a live, I'm gonna just pull everything up and then tell y'all what, what it's good for. Um, but that's the boost of nutrition that I'm going to have on, uh, Wednesday. It's going to be juicing water and green tea, the juice, the water and green tea. And then Thursday, I'm going to have cooked vegetables. I'm going to have juice, green tea, water, and fruit. Okay. Uh, and then Friday through Sunday is my wild out time. It's like, I'm, I'm playing. <laughs> I'm not going to wild out. <laughs> I'm not going to wild out. <laughs> but what I, what I mean is that's when it's kind of like a test. That's when I get to eat different things. Uh, and I'm not like, you know, I only eat this or I take out this or only eat this, take out this. But the trick okay, which I'm working to, to master now, is to still incorporate those healthy raw foods and juices that I've had on my fasting days into my regular days. So, and then to incorporate uh, uh, fish, chicken, you know what I mean? Instead of just chicken every day or spread too much red meat, but just kind of like spread it. I'm trying to balance this thing. So, uh, Friday, I'm going to have fish. Saturday, I'm going to have chicken. And Sunday, whatever. But on those days, my goal is to have the juice, green tea, water, and fruit, and a salad, and then regular meal. That's my goal. Um, the reason I want to do this is because I feel like our health is greatly in impacted by the amount of nutrients we do have or we don't have. And I've seen that happen. Um, that's that bit. It has been evident so many different times because I don't go to the store and buy medicine, uh, over the counter meds, um, and that's not how I take care of my family. Whenever we're sick, I'm going in my kitchen cabinets, y'all. So um, uh, I feel like if I'm sick, if um, if I have a, a headache, if I feel weak, it's because I'm not getting enough rest. That's really my biggest problem. I'm working on that. I'm working on that, Hannah. I'm not getting enough rest. Um, I'm not getting enough nutrients. And when this is what I believe, let me know what you believe. I'm not an expert. I'm just a mom in here trying to have some self care while I'm taking care of my own family uh, and improving their, you know, my kids' learning and behavior from home, just like you. Okay. Um, I feel like uh, um, when there's not enough nutrients and, I, and my body is not oriented towards nutrients, then that leaves room for other stuff. And when I eat uh, the other stuff, it kind of, uh, after a while, my body gets used to that and wants that, and then it kind of drowns out the nutrients. So I'm trying to make the nutrients be the biggest part of my diet. And then have the other food that still gives me nutrients, but not the same kind, not as much, not what I what I need overall, be a smaller part of my diet. So um, the fasting helps me kind of um, work on those food cravings. I'm an emotional eater. If I get stressed, I'll, I start eating, you know, so I know that's something I need to work on. Um, work on the emotional eating 
work on the food cravings, give me focus, um, and then allow my body to build up and benefit from these nutrients, strengthen my immune system, um, uh, strengthen my gut, you know, and um, detox, have my body get really good at detox, turn my body into a fat burning machine. This is this is what I'm doing all this for. So, uh, yeah, I had Independence Day. I, I really had a good time. But <laughs> but um, going into fasting afterwards has been a struggle because I didn't have enough nutrients before then. Uh, so that, I think that's where my headaches came in. That's where my fatigue came in uh, at the, towards the end. And I couldn't hold on until the morning. So I ate a uh, boiled egg and some fruit and drank some green tea. And then by the next day, I went back to regular eating. So let me know how you guys feel. Um, I'm going to stretch a little bit before my meeting. But let me know how you guys feel uh, about fasting, what your experience have been, if you tried it, what kind of fasting you're doing. Do you juice? Okay, uh, because I love for us to get a discussion going as moms out here, and that's too um, just just uh, on what it's like trying to take care of yourself, improve your own health while you have a family to take care of, <laughs> and um, there's all kind of other snacks in the house, and the kids are like, you know. They want to eat what they they want, and your husband. So you're cooking for the family. You're not changing because I'm trying to be a leader, not forcing everybody to eat the way I eat. But I'm trying to be a leader um, in nutrition and exercise for my family. Um, so what's that like? I mean, yesterday I was making spaghetti with uh, tomatoes from my garden and basil and parsley from my garden, and it smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> and my mind is like just take one little bite <laughs> but then i'm like no nah, man because right now i'm extra large y'all and my goal is this summer to turn myself into a size large okay <laughs> i'm not going extreme but i want to get into size large clothes okay so that's why i'll be telling myself like girl you 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 wear size large clothes you just stay focused on that you can eat that later and then I took the meat sauce and put it in a container and put it in a freezer so that when I have my Sunday, any day, red meat, whatever, I got something ready for myself for lunch. All right. So have you ever had to talk yourself out of eating something that you decided you wasn't going to eat? <laughs> have you, ever done that? you be out here talking to yourself. <laughs> That's what I had to do recently. So I love y'all. Keep. Keep working on yourself. We grow our children, but we grow ourselves too. Um, growing our children behaviorally, academically, giving them goals uh, to to focus on and focus, help, help them uh, develop a growth and achievement um, mindset is a job, okay? I'm here to tell y'all it's a job, but it's also an opportunity and a necessity is necessary for us to be growing our own selves. So you got goals, write them down. You want to be healthier, put a uh, routine in place. Make your self-care a priority, honey, because you'll need it while you are growing your children because it's not easy. It's the toughest, I'm telling you, it's the toughest job in the world, okay? Um, and you will buckle if you're not taking care of yourself. And, and we don't need you to buckle. We need you to stay in there, okay? Because your kids are champions and so are you. All right, loves? Love y'all so much. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for watching. Comment below. Let me know how you guys are doing on your self-care, all right? Uh, and modeling for our children how to take care of ourselves, all right? We, we doing it. We doing it in here. But anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be out. Um, and I'll talk to y'all. I'll give y'all an update soon, probably tomorrow. Let you know how the green tea and water fast day went. Did I go the whole day? Did I sneak a bite of something? I'm telling you in advance. No. I'll let you know if I have a moment of weakness, okay? <laughs>
Love y'all so much. Believe in yourself. Believe in your child, honey. And always remember that growth is unlimited. Peace.